So it's a pretty wet and rainy morning to be getting packed up to be going camping for the weekend, but this is supposed to be the worst day. It's gonna clear up, so we're a little excited because it's also only our second trip in the new truck. So much nicer to tow with that. But what we're doing is we are gonna go to Pima Tuning State Park in Ohio. It's actually on the Ohio-Pennsylvania border, and there's a Pima Tuning in Ohio and a Pima Tuning State Park in Pennsylvania. But we're going to the Ohio. So never been there before, first time. We're gonna go check it out, let you know what we think. And this is our, I wanna say annual, but something we're gonna to try to do. It's gonna be just me and Elizabeth. No kids with us this time, it's just gonna be a, a getaway. So I guess we're gonna go check out this state park and see what we think. Let's hit the road. Go rest up. Pimatuning State Park is located on the Pimatuning Reservoir, which borders Ohio and Pennsylvania. The reservoir does allow boating, but it does have a 25 horsepower limit, so sorry, no water skiing. There are actually two Pimatuning State Parks, one in Ohio and one's in Pennsylvania. We stayed at the Ohio State Park, and when we arrived, we noticed there was a nice little check-in building, but it was closed, so we had to check in at the camp store. That meant we had to drive past the store and turn around at the dump station, which was nice and roomy, but that was just so we could park and go inside. store with ice and firewood, necessities at state parks. It's a really nice little store with all the essentials you would need while camping. Once checked in, we headed to our site. Pima Tuning Campground has over 350 campsites and is laid out in three separate areas. We'll call them the North, Middle, and South sections. Our site is in the South section, which is mostly electric. There are a few full hookup sites as well, which is where we're headed, and recently they made some improvements to the park and added even more full hookup sites to the Middle section by the waterfront. Altogether, they have about 40 full hookup sites now, and the rest are electric only or primitive. They do have two dump stations though, one is located between the north and middle sections, which is where we turned around, and the other is in the south section. So there we are with our full hookup, and of course the best sites are electric and the water. Once we got settled into our site, we decided to go for a walk and check the rest of the park out. And some of those are full hookup. Yeah, yeah, see? The waterfront full hookup. You can see where the full hookup starts. Because they're full. Lakefront full hookup. Yes, please. Boat launch. But like you said, 24 horsepower limit. No skiing on this beautiful lake. The beach. Shower. We try out the slide from here. We should go try out the slide. We should. I like your idea. <laughs> There's troops. You can at least walk over. So those are campsites right there. Oh wow. Listen, you have little ones. This is a great campsite. 
Yes, it would. So there's a shower and a beach right there, playground, and campsites that Michaela would want. They have small restrooms scattered throughout the park and a few larger restrooms with showers. So, two, three, four, five. I'm a tuning bathhouse, so not bad, pretty big. This is a pretty good size. It's clean. And there's a brand new bathhouse. The best bathhouse was definitely the one in the north section. It's a recent addition, so it's one of the nicest we've seen at any Ohio State Park. This is the shower house on the north side of the campground. Much nicer, newer, and a lot of stalls. So if you stay on this end, even though you don't have full walk-up, it's electric only. There is a nice stall, and this one, of course, is handicap accessible too. There's ramps outside. So much nicer, much newer on this end. Altogether, we really like this park. There's not much to do in the surrounding area unless you want to see a pizza place made from an old covered bridge. So plan on just enjoying the lake and relaxing when you come to Pine Matuning State Park. Well, that's all we have for this one, so be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so you can stay updated with where we're going, what we're doing, and see more of our future travels. We will see you next time.